Today, we are going to introduce you the Larsen effect. First of all, the Larsen effect or feedback effect is a physical sound phenomena discovered by the Danish physicist Soren Larsen in the 20th century. It happens when an amplified transmitter and the receiver are placed nearby. The emitted sound by the transmitter is picked up by the receiver, which retransmits it, amplified to the transmitter, and so on. Thus, the sound is amplified to the physical limit of the material. Therefore, that phenomenon is commonplace in conferences, concerts, etc. And so why is it so unpleasant? First, the sound is a vibration of the air and this vibration propagates into our ears, which makes vibrate the eardrum, the eardrum, and the louder the eardrum vibrates, the louder the perceived sound will be. Moreover, if the sound is too loud, eardrums will vibrate too hard and it will become painful. Furthermore, the characteristics of the speakers and the mic microphone make that the special frequencies will be more amplified than the other ones. So the sound will be very loud, loud and highly dissonant. Firstly, how does a microphone work? Microphone is made of a membrane. When the singer or the instrument emits sounds, it creates air vibration that vibrates the microphone membrane. When the diaphragm vibrates, the coal also vibrates. Because the coal is located around the magnet and vibrates, the coal creates an electric field. The electric signals correspond to the vibrations of the voices and instruments. Thus, how the signal is processed by the speaker? Well, it's the opposite process of the microphone. The loudspeaker transforms electrical signals into acoustic waves. These acoustic waves correspond to the frequencies emitted by the singer of the instrument while having higher amplitudes. Consequently, sound is amplified. During a concert, musicians want to hear themselves play and sing. That's why they use stage feedback. The frequencies of the stage feedback that come back into the microphone from behind are countered by the microphone. If you put your hand of the, on the part that picks up unwanted sounds, these sounds will eventually be picked up again by the microphone. So the feedback effect occurs. For this reason, sound engineers recommend holding the microphone not at the end of where the microphone is, but on the neck of the microphone. In addition, systems are available to detect and migrate feedback. However, does the Larsen effect have any use? The Larsen effect is used by guitarists because in musical genres like heavy metal, guitarists are looking for distortion effects on their guitar and Larsen effect allow them to do it. To conclude, the Larsen effect is a problem, but it can be countered very easily.